Full One Sports Talk Radio on Full One Radio Network.com. I'm sitting here with uh, Delta Cantry. Candy. See, I'm going to get everything wrong. Huh? Yeah, you good. Yeah. Come on. You're right. Yeah. Uh, Derek, D- Delta Cantry. Candy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it like this. Just call me Deldrick. Deldrick, okay. Deldrick. I'm sitting here with Deldrick. Uh, Deldrick, where are you from? From Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge? Is ba- it? Baton Rouge. Rouge, not Rush? Oh, no. Don't do it like that. Baton Rouge. Yeah, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, where'd you go to school at? I went to school at Scottsdale High School. And where's, where'd you go to college? Uh, Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech. Where's your position? Defensive man. Defensive man? Yes, sir. How tall are you? 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. Hey, you should have been a defensive man, shouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Put him on tackle. I, yeah, I know, huh? Why they put him on tackle? I don't know. It's 6'5? Six, five? Yeah. Six, five, 275, 280? It depends on the package, though. You probably do pay defense in. Okay, okay. But you, you're on defense in, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, number one, got, what got you to uh, Louisiana Tech? Well, number one, uh, what got me to Louisiana Tech, I, uh, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to show that there are more things out there to do instead of being like an inner city co- uh, inner city uh, kid. Uh-huh. So I wanted to start something new and start a trend. Okay. Louisiana Tech, I wanted to be the first one from uh, Scotlandville to do it. So I, as I was the first one, there was more people coming behind me coming yeah. to Louisiana Tech too. So okay. I felt like a big brother that, that, did, that did it first. Trendsetter. Yeah, trendsetter. Okay. Pretty much like a trendsetter in Baton Rouge. That's all we do. Mm-hmm. We trendsetter. So I wanted to be like that, that, that shining light that goes somewhere else that you could see me. Wow. So yeah. Okay. So how was it? How was the experience in Louisiana Tech? Oh, it was a good experience. Uh, when I first stepped, my first step on, uh, stepped on campus, it was, it was a good feeling. I wasn't homesick. I wasn't. I was just strictly about business. Did you think you'd be homesick? Oh no. <laughs> I've been there too long. You don't look like a person who think they'd be homesick. Nah, I've been, I've been there too long to be homesick. I want to get out and you know experience something new. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, were you always a defense ta- defense man? In high school, I played defense and and defense attack. Oh, okay. They used me up. They, they tried to keep me on the field. <laughs> so, but I got when I got the Louisiana Tech, they, my, uh, my my position was primarily defensive end. Did you like it that way better? Of course. Or did you want to get used up? Nah, I ain't want to get used <laughs> up like that. Not like that. Not, don't do me like that. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't just use me and throw yeah, me away. Yeah, just don't, yeah, just put me in one spot. I can do my thing. Yeah, you know. I could, you know, help the team out in some kind of way. Do you feel you, you excelled that way? Oh, yeah, I excelled that way because I, I focus on one position. Uh-huh. I ain't got to, I, I ain't trying to say I can't play two positions. No, nah, but I understand. About that one position, you, you ain't got that much on your mind. You ain't mm-hmm. got to think too much. You mm-hmm. just do your job. You, know? you ain't got to forget, oh, I'm a defense attacker right now. Yeah. So. I'm supposed to be I can't play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, who, who's some of the tougher, tough, toughest teams y'all gone against? The toughest teams was uh, Mississippi State. Yeah. He played against uh, Fitzgerald. He, he's a good quarterback. They had a good uh, deep offensive line, and uh, we played against uh, FAU. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Lane Kiffin, we played against them. They, they pretty legit. And yeah, yeah. I like the team, but, you know, they kind of good. That was the best two teams we played. Wait, Mississippi State, y'all played against Dak Prescott, too, didn't you? Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, sure yeah. Did, yeah. How was he? He was smaller than I thought he was. Was he? Yeah, he was smaller. I thought he was a big cat, man. Yeah. It was, he was like, oh, I can get him. Yeah. He, he, he from down the street from Louisiana. He from uh, like Shreveport. Right? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it was good because we had most of the Shreveport dudes on our team going against him. So, they knew him. Oh, okay. So, they I knew never him. saw him. Yeah, it was crazy seeing him in person. Like, yeah. I'm kind of taller than him like, a little bit. Like, a little bitty dude. Huh? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I'm from the crack his ribs. Huh? Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, who is from some of your toughest competitors one on one that you played against? It's hard. Like, somebody just asked me that question. That's kind of hard because I feel like nobody stood out to me. You know? Not too many people stood out to me. No, nobody, huh? You no. Know, it's, it's been a long season, too. So, like, <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel against a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, hey, they they come go through each team? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They come in and out. So, so who did you pattern your game after? I patterned the game off uh, the uh, Houston from uh, Kansas City Chiefs, number 50. Oh, uh, 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 uh. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Was it the linebacker, right? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he kind of outside line, but he, he, you know, he a, he a pass rusher too, and, uh-huh. you know. So mm-hmm. I, I looked at him a lot. I looked up to him because then he went number fifty too, because I went number fifty. Oh, okay, so. so and he looked, he almost looked like me out there. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's like my dad out there. Yeah, so, okay. So it was cool, you know, just watching him doing his game, learning stuff from him, doing all the hand moves and all the stunts and stuff. So, so when when did the light go on and says, you know what, I might be able to be 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 an NFL player. The light went on when I my. <laughs> The end of my junior year when I found out that putting my fears to the side was going to get me a long way because 
as a player in, in college, you know, sometimes you go against new people. You never uh -huh. know what you're going against. Right. So, you know, as we build confidence, instead of, you know, being cocky, mm -hmm. it, it feel like it takes you a long way. You said something about putting your fears to the side. Yeah. Can you, what was those fears? A, a fear like, uh, like going against somebody new that's got a big name. Mm -hmm. So, like the big schools, like Mississippi State. Right, right. So, at the time, like, when I first got through in the game, it was my freshman year against Arvin. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking up to these people instead of looking down on them. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall old line. You like at all? Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like my feel is like going against new people. But once that their first play over with, that's yeah. when everything go to the side. But I got used to it, instead of it being the second play, me not being scared. I want to be the first play for me not, not being scared. scared. Yeah. Let me give you a story real quick. Uh, you, are you into uh, uh, football history? Yes, sir. Okay, so you remember Rayford Wright? Yes, sir. Rayford Wright. A good friend of mine told me the story. You know, he started out as a tight end. Okay. All right. And so he was drafted by the Cowboys as a tight end. Well, the the offensive tackle went down. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Tom Landry said, Rayfield, get in there yeah. to play offensive tackle. He'd never played offensive tackle before. He went up against, his first play, he went up against Deacon Jones. Okay. And you know, the, the legend of Deacon Jones. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, so Deacon Jones put his hand down and said, boy, do your mama know you here? <laughs> he said, he said, he said, as soon as he said that he had red in his eyes, but Deacon Jones hit him so fast, oh. he got around him. And Rayford Wright said, yeah, it'll never happen again. You ain't gonna, and his, his, in his mind, he's thinking, okay, you talking about my mom. Yeah. Yeah, he said, that'll never happen again. No. And he became a Pro Bowl tackle that way. Because that fear you talked about, yeah. you know, as soon as you put your hand down, yeah, you get that one play out the way, but that one play might be the end. The end. But he looked over at Tom, Tom said, no, you stay in there. Right. You know, so you talk about that fear, that fear can sometimes be helpful, yeah. you know, but you use that fear for something that's going to help you, yes, you know, motivate you. Yeah. You know, so when somebody put their hand down on that ground or, or, or when you finna go, go attack, mm -hmm. don't, don't let that person in front of you say, okay, do you know your mama here? Yeah. Do your mama know you here? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to give you that little story there. I yeah, appreciate it. Uh, so as you're um, moving through, what did, what do you get out of the CGS conference? Oh, I got it. I, it surprised me a little bit because uh, not knowing nothing about the process. Uh -huh. You come here, you, they got they, these people really care about us because they, they put us through all these seminars uh -huh. and they teach us stuff that we never knew about. Like mm -hmm. earlier, the, it's a, uh, a man was telling us I forgot his name. So many people we met, but the man was telling us about the, the salary, how the money. This Rob your house. Yeah, pretty much. Rob you. <laughs> he owned it, ain't he? Yeah, it just, the, the charge is looking like, man, uh -huh. the money just, just gone. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty much, in other seminars, that was good too about how to market. Yeah. The marketing process. Social media. The social media, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was, it was a pretty good seminar. Can't be smoking bongs on yeah. the, uh, <laughs> all that stuff you're posting on Instagram. Yeah, you can't be posting that on the Instagram. Yeah, it's gotta be clean because yeah. everybody, yeah. yeah. everybody look at that stuff. Everybody look at that stuff. They, 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 they judge your character based off what they see. Yes, sir. And if they it, not even talking to you, you say, oh, that's that's who this is gonna be. Yes, you know, I did a, a report on Ezekiel Elliott, which is you know, yeah. what, what's out there about him is about he's a woman hit woman abuser. Yeah. But if you don't ever really read through all that stuff, you know, you'll think that. Yes, because the media, we'll make you think that. Yeah. Give you this prime example. Have you ever met Martin Luther King? No, sir. But he's a good man, right? Yeah. He's a great man, isn't he? Yes, sir. You know, probably one of the best men you've ever, you know, read about. Yes, sir. How do you know about him? History. Because you read about him. Read about him. Yeah. What's reading about him? Media. Yes, sir. We can shape who we can shape your character anytime we want to. Right. And it could not. It don't have to be true. Yes, sir. So you have to be very, very exposed. More important to what you what you're exposing yourself to, because they're gonna shape it the way they want to shape it. You know, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm in this rambling mode right now. Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, um, so you, so, but did you get in here when you got here? Were you ready to hit? Oh yeah. Yeah. I was like, ready. I was still in. The, I was still on go mode. <laughs> we just had a bowl game against SMU. Right, right. And we beat SMU. So when I found I was coming here, I'm ready. I'm still ready. You know, that's right down the street, ain't that's it? That's right down yeah, the street. I was right down the street. That's what I'm saying. I'm ready. So how was that game against SMU for you? It was very good. I, I was. I think that was the best game I ever played. You know? Yeah, how many sacks did you get? I had one sack, but I could have had way more. Yeah. I'm telling you, you watch that film, I could have had way more. Cause I'm going to go check it out. Yeah, go check that out. We was on them, right? Yeah. We beat them 51 to 10. So. Yeah. yeah. And, and isn't that your old coach? 
Oh, uh, Sunday Dykes. I wasn't yeah. there. I, I, he came before before I came. Okay, okay. I mean, he left before I came. He left. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so man, you, you playing against your old coach? That's what I'm saying. He was, they was talking a lot though. You know they had that first round. They got a first round projected for first round wide receiver. Right, right. The receiver. Yeah, we try to make him. We, I mean, we try to you know make sure we beat him bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, but, but do it in, huh? Yeah, we had to do him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show yeah, him yeah. the yeah. Okay, so um, I, I asked this question. You heard the question before, right? Yes, sir. You got 32 helmets. Oh, um, man. You got to pick one helmet. Okay. But it's 32 there. Okay. And you want one, the one helmet you hit, pick is the one that's going to Now, first of all, uh, who's your favorite team? I don't have a favorite team. All right. Well, we, we knocked that out the way. Okay. All right, so you got 32 helmets. Pick one of them. Pick one. Ooh. Pick one. You know what? I might have to go with the home team, man. The didn't, didn't, yeah, I might have to go with the boy, them boys, man. You they, play, they probably playing right now. Huh? Yeah, they playing right now. So I got to go. I'll pick the same. Man. All right, you pick the same. I'm picking right. the same. So it's the other thing we normally do. You play for the Saints. Yeah. Starting defense in for the Saints. Okay. It's Monday Night Football. Okay. And they, they're giving the starting lineup. Okay. How you say it? We got to say it like this. We go, <laughs> yeah. We go say it like this. Yeah, how you say it? Delta Canty, defensive end from Louisiana Tech University. All right, all right. That's what we're talking about. Yes, sir. All right, that's Delta Canty. Delta Canty. I'm going to get that right. Yeah, get it right. got to get that right, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to get that right. Yes. Yeah. I come see you in New Orleans. I like, man, you can't even pronounce somebody. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say Mr. Canty. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got it. There you go. All right, this has been Delta Canty from um, Louisiana Tech. Uh, we will be right back. We got some. We got looks coming in. <laughs> 